Robin Hooding has been going on in Keene uh, since 2009. A mover for the Free State Project and a great activist named Lauren Canario uh, went out and she basically thought of a good idea to find the parking officer and then walk in front of him and fill meters so they couldn't write tickets. Robin Hooding is an idea that many people in this area have, have had and occasionally taken part in sporadically, but uh, myself and James Cleveland, I guess there was a little perfect storm of activists in, in the same place at the same time. Um, I think there may have been one day that we went out and we totally prevented the issuance of tickets for a few hours because there was only one parking enforcer and two of us and we had the means to communicate. And we made it so that nobody got parking tickets for a particular period of time and that was a very good feeling. And then in 2013, uh, there was a great effort here in Keene by a bunch of people, myself included, to try to have Robin Hooders out um, every single day that, that parking is enforced. You know, we want to go out and try to prevent as many tickets as we can and make a difference here in the community. And James Cleveland really worked hard in recruiting people that would be willing to spend some time out on the streets. And I myself have been one of the more prolific people making sure that each day if there is someone enforcing parking, there should be also somebody out there trying to prevent people from having this uh, parking scheme enforced against them. Robin Hood, you would think, is like an unassailable form of activism. I think it's one of the most positive uh, activist things that we've done here so far. But there are still people who just can't stand what's happening with Robin Hooding. They, uh, they feel like the meter maids are being harassed and intimidated and threatened. And of course those claims are ridiculous. There's no evidence for it whatsoever. But even if they were being, you know, having nasty things said to them, they're supposed to endure verbal and mental abuse. That's one of their job requirements. Whether it is or is not harassment is moot. It's a moot point because the employee handbook for the city officials in the job description it says that they are to endure verbal and mental abuse and the judge here at the superior court in Keene actually ruled he didn't rule as some people would say and say that there was no harassment that's not what he ruled he actually said that it doesn't matter whether there was harassment or not it's protected speech so you know that they're upset that people are talking to them uh, that people are holding them accountable for being government workers. It's like the people who don't like Robin Hooders are giving the parking enforcers a pass. They feel like they're working for the government and just like any other worker they should have total privacy in, in what they do and they should be left alone. Uh, but I don't feel like government people who threaten others should be left alone. I think those people should be held accountable and you know, recorded when you encounter those people with video devices and that sort of thing and ask tough questions about the nature of their work. And, you know, there's nothing to apologize for that. It's just holding government bureaucrats accountable. So Robin Hooders have done that to some extent. But the, the real thrust of Robin Hooding is saving people from parking tickets. And that's why it's such a popular thing for us to do is that who doesn't like being saved from a parking ticket? Most people love it, but there's a few people who don't like it, I guess. I think that helps people just because if we were to make the parking enforcement basically impotent, then there'll be more room for uh, private solutions to parking. And also it's just, it's really nice. Like if you show up to your car and you didn't put in enough change, like thank God there's a Robin Hooder around because now I don't have a ticket. So it is a nice thing to do to prevent parking tickets, but like my ultimate goal is to prevent them because I, I see them as acts of aggression and I don't think that parking should be a crime. It's not a criminal act in my opinion because no one is harmed by it. I don't think parking enforcement is something that they're ever going to turn a profit on really unless they start uh, increasing parking rates much more which I've heard that they're also trying to do. From the statistics that I've heard they run at a loss so I think that that's a huge waste of taxpayer dollars because that could be going to something much more important. And even if the idea is to manage the parking, I still disagree. When, when they issue tickets when there's ample parking, I, I strongly disagree with that because at that point it's clearly about revenue generation and not about managing parking. If there is an argument to be had for parking enforcement, in my opinion, it should only be done at peak hours or they should just have the, um, the time limits. It's ridiculous that you would park somewhere for five minutes and get a coffee and then get a ticket. 